here we have our donor bike sends the motor so it would be it it's not in there either is it well, where the heck is it well it's right there so we got it out of there and noticed one little difference these so this is the cover uh the uh water pump goes here your oil filter goes there and we noticed this one off the donor bike didn't have the same wire that this one had off of the uh, 83 model so we decided since this and that are the same we would take them off and swap them because it turns out that that wire is for your neutral switch so it's kind of important to have um, however in doing so we found that both water uh, pumps are um, have a lot of end play in them that one as much as a quarter that one is about an eighth so uh, while that one's probably okay to use it, it will fail eventually so might as well take time now while it's out of the bike to fix it and it's 140 dollars for one of those puppies but i got it and it's on its way um so i decided to this and this one looked almost identical uh but i cleaned this up and i cleaned that up um uh, they look wet they're not so i used this to clean them i mean it went from that to that so i'd say that's pretty good now it did take a couple applications and i did use the uh brass brush to do it you know to get it there i mean so i didn't just like spray it on and boom it came clean but it did uh that was pretty gunky too uh, and then I, I hit it with this. Figured why not, if it protects it, you know. Um, this is the thermostat housing uh, that goes here, and or the water pump. Yeah, I think this is the water pump. Yeah, this is the water pump uh, housing. And then, uh, so this goes on, oops, sorry. This goes on here, and then that goes on there. So I cleaned those up, gave those a spritz too. Uh, next will be the distributor, which I was happy to see did not have points, uh, but it's an 80s model bike, so it makes sense that it wouldn't have points. Uh, anyway, so those cleaned up nice. Um, so uh, I'm waiting on parts, mostly gaskets and then the water pump. Uh, I'm going to have to get the guys back here to help me get that in once I get it. Oh, excuse me. Once I put it together, once I have everything together, then I'll clean that up. Uh, because the only ports I want uh, open when I um, hit it with the degreaser are the intake and the exhaust because I can cover those with uh, duct tape in you know any any vents like this one here you know to make sure those are covered I can, certainly can't have that open uh, you can see that's where the water pump and everything resides so um, once the gaskets come in I'll put it all together and then I'll give it one final good uh, cleaning and get it um, all squared away. Um, I have, uh, however, been doing some other cleaning. Uh, so I flushed the uh, radiator, got it real good and clean inside, and then outside cleaned it up, painted it. Um, so this is heat, high temperature heat paint. That's why it's a flat versus the shiny. Uh, cleaned up a bunch of other parts, some chrome, some not. Uh, reconditioned the foot pegs. They turned out pretty good. Um, so. So I cover those up, keep them good and clean. Uh, I'm gonna, so I have some, uh, I gotta get the gas tank out of here before I put the motor in anyway. Um, not that it matters, it's just a little easier because basically this comes out this way. So I gotta take all this off to get it out. And I've got the tank from the donor bike, which is empty and clear as a, as clean as a whistle inside. So that's gonna go on here. Because this one's got about, Two gallons of really nasty gas in it and I'm not touching if I don't have to and then I'll finish cleaning and touching up the frame I, I did give it a bath uh, and used some of this uh, simple clean on it to or super clean to help uh, get the grease off it worked out pretty well I mean it's pretty clean now uh, just needs a little work a little more work um, and then there's the old engine just waiting to become, uh, I guess, go to the scrap is probably where it's going to go. There's a few things like the starter and stuff I can sell, but for the most part, it'll probably get uh, sent to the scrapper. But that's the update so far. It's been windy and raining all weekend. 
Um, so didn't get a chance to ride the bike. Uh, I it was there was a break Saturday, but uh, I was down um, at my bike builder's friend, uh, my friend, the bike builder. I was at his house, um, paying him back for <laughs> with some computer work for helping me with this. Uh, they were here uh, Friday. Um, uh, helping me with this and uh it was actually godfrey that noticed the difference um and realized that the pump was bad and some other things so uh bottom line is um i didn't film it because i respect their privacy these were two premier bike builders that were here and um i know they don't particularly appreciate the camera and they're you know when they're trying to work so I'm just trying to respect that <laughs> Uh, this one has shared brake system. So when you squeeze the front brake lever, it applies the front brakes and the rear brake. If you hit the back brake, it applies the back brake and the front brakes equally. Uh, however, I believe that master cylinder shot. This one, however, seems to be good. And it's, I don't know if you could tell, but there's brake fluid in there and it's holding very nicely. Uh, it seems to work. However, this one has a banjo bolt here, right? Connection. Whereas this one has... A hard line connection. So, uh, Godfrey gave me a couple ideas of what I might be able to do to swap them uh, because replacing that is not cheap and rebuilding it's kind of a pain. Um, he offered to rebuild it for me, so worst case, I guess I'll just do that. Uh, but that one's empty. It's probably been empty for a long time, which means the seals are probably dried up and no good. Um, the rear shocks have to come off. Luckily, these are the exact same rear shocks and they're in wonderful shape. Um, I don't know if they hold air or whatever, um, but you can see the boots are ripped. Not the worst thing in the world, but these are in good shape and they're not ripped. So, um, if I can swap them out, I'm going to do that. Uh, the tail light on this is really in decent shape, uh, but the chrome's kind of pitted and dull. Uh, the rear light from the donor bike is in much, much better shape. So I'm going to swap those around. Um... And then um, I got to take all of this off anyway to uh, get the gas tank out. So while that's off, I'm going to clean up the rim, give it a new coat of paint. Um, same with the. Fr I'm going to do the front too, just so that they match and they're in good shape. Um, and so I just got have a lot of little things to do. I, I'm just not, I'm not going to put any. I'm not going to put new tires on it. I'm not going to buy a new battery. I'm not going to do go crazy with money on this thing until that motor's in here and it, I can drive it. Once I know I can ride it and it's in, you know, rideable, decent, rideable shape, then I'm going to get new handlebars, I'm going to get new tires, new battery, a bunch of new things for it, but that'll probably be over the winter because it's going to take me a while to save up enough money to, to do what I want to do. Uh, tires alone, you know, if you've bought even car tires, you know, they're expensive, so it's going to take a little extra effort on my part. Uh, I also want to paint uh one of the things um next winter i'm gonna do is paint and i'm gonna, i noticed i've got a uh some the paints come off and you can see the primer under it now um apparently i had a leak here and it was dripping on here and i didn't notice it and i ate right through this rattle can paint job the reason i use rattle can is because uh power polyurethane can be a real pain in the butt uh, as much as I like it, because it's much more durable than rattle can, and it looks better, um, I just don't have that kind of time, or, you know, I can't waste, urethane paint's expensive, especially if you waste some of it. Uh, so anyway, um, Godfrey turned me on to some uh, paint from Eastwood, that is polyurethane with ceramic in it, and all you have to do is add the activator, it's already pre-mixed. So you just add the activator and it's ready to shoot. So I'm going to give that a try. Uh, but that's going to get painted. Um, the tank is going to... I'm thinking now uh, the fenders in the tank are going to be blue with some... Uh, or black with some blue highlighting. Um, it's hard to explain, but I'll, uh, you'll see when I do it. Uh, I got the carbs cleaned up pretty much. Um, still got to work on the plenum a little bit here. Um... But everything else is in really good shape. I'm just waiting for the gasket kit to show up uh, so I can bolt it all back together real good. Um, like I said, I just got a few little spots here that I got to clean up. Um, uh, I haven't been commenting because I've been out here working, but just know I've been watching YouTube videos. So um, I may not have commented on any of your, your videos recently, but trust me, I've been watching them. Um, sorry I haven't commented, but 
uh, I'm just trying to get this done. When we were pulling the motor, the guys were here doing the deck. They managed to get the uh, floor laid, uh, and that took some work because they had to grade the area. Um, but just as soon as they got the floor down, it started raining. So I quick covered it with a tarp, although it's, you know, uh, outdoor lumber. I mean, it's the, you know, it's the uh, pressure treated lumber, but I figured, ah, why well, let it get wet? Uh, <clears throat> so hopefully Tuesday, that'll be out of here. Uh, I got guys coming to get rid of this and the stove. That'll free up some space. I can get the stuff that should be in the shed in the shed. That'll free up some space in here. Hopefully we'll get this in here soon and I can get the stuff off of this I need and get this out of here and that out of here and then I have a few parts I'm gonna sell on eBay, but I don't have my garage back. That'll be nice. I like that um, But that's about it um, That's all I got for now anyway, that's that's the updates um, Just know progress is being made. It's just taking a little time. Uh, I am going to uh, keep the uh, use this seat it needs to be clean but um it is just I, I can't even describe how comfortable that seat is so i'm going to use that for a while uh i can't you can't see it but there's a seat there i'll get that seat set up for one upriding and then uh then i'll take this in and have it reupholstered uh this will be for when me and my wife go out and that'll be just for when i go out because it takes like two three minutes to swap the seats it's not a big deal um, but overall, uh, we're getting there. We're making progress. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you've subscribed recently, thank you. Uh, I've been, you know, amazed at how many subscriptions I've, uh, new subscribers I've gotten. I think that's because the GL, uh, ever since I posted the GL stuff, I've been, I've been seeing the subscriber count go up a little bit. So that's kind of nice. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to clean the floor, too. i got some oil dry on it now, but it's, yeah, it's going to take some time. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Have a good uh, week.